The industry has evolved. There's a human-centric approach to design now. Students are getting hired by who they are, what they represent, what they're willing to do for the company that they're working for, but most importantly, what they're willing to do for themselves. That's how our students are getting hired and getting to the next level. Can I say hello? <sighs> so hard. It's like the hardest part. Introducing yourself. Oh my. Oh, that is a big question. Okay, I got this. <laughs> I'm like, what did I even say? How, what did I describe myself as? Okay, I want to say that I am a Jefferson student, but I'm an artist at heart. I am a creator. I am forward thinking. I am driven. I am caring. I'm sensitive. I am funny. <laughs> I'm a cat mom. I am a fluffy dog person. I am a lover <laughs> of bugs and anything weird, freaky, creepy, cute. I am a younger sister. I'm a big sister. I'm a great friend. <laughs> I'm a knitter. Well, I'm more of a crocheter. I am a textile design minor. I'm a fashion merchandising and management minor. I'm a second generation immigrant. I'm Puerto Rican. I'm a proud Latina. I'm Irish. I am Ukrainian and Italian. I am Mexican American. I am international student. I grew up in Philadelphia. North Philly. Home is Glenside. I commute from there. Staten Island, New York. Long Island. Voorhees, New Jersey. I'm from Atlanta. Buffalo, New York. Virginia. Kentucky, Tennessee, New Jersey, Germany for two years. San Juan, Puerto Rico. Chengdu from China. The best part about fashion design is it gives everyone an opportunity to really express themselves and to feel authentic. There's something about being in an environment with other people that are also striving to change the way the world works, that are also striving to kind of put their own dent in the universe. And that's one of the things Jefferson gives you. There's this diversity of spirit as well as the diversity of topics that we address. I don't think you're going to see these students sitting around. These are going to be the people driving the industry. What I would say about our current students is they are really brilliant at opportunity finding and developing solutions. They're curious, they're creative, they're always looking, always seeking, always seeing new information. I am fashionable, I am chic, I am stylish. I am a risk taker. I'm finding new ways to be creative. I use my design work as a platform to share my voice and opinion. I am an eternal optimist. I am innovative. I am passionate. I am storyteller. I am unexpected. I am a mystery and I am a fashion designer. I'm a fashion designer. And I'm a fashion designer. 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 Success isn't physical. It's not where you are working. It's not what you're doing. It's really within you. We want our students to feel a sense of pride. You know, you came in in the fall semester and you were trying to figure out what this concept was. And today you actually have a physical garment that you can put on a model, you can put on a mannequin. Don't you feel proud of that? That's just how we measure our student success. It's not physical, it's not what you do or where you are. It's who you are. Boom, there we go. I like that one. That's it. That's pretty simple. Wham. <laughs>I was looking back at sketchbooks from elementary school and I was sketching wedding dresses. It was just always something that has been in my brain and now I finally get to take it out. My name is Lauren Schuler, and I am a fashion designer. I reached out to women on Facebook for them to donate their old wedding dresses to me and with their dresses I asked them to also donate their stories and so I used inspiration from the women and their stories of their wedding day and what they're doing now in my collection. One of the reasons why I chose to come to Jefferson is for the textile collaboration. I have collaborated with Alex Winch. He is a graduate textile design student who focuses in jacquards. Jefferson has taught me a lot more than just design. It's taught me marketing. I've taken merchandising classes. I've taken business classes. I see myself as being a business owner in the future, and this is possibly like the start of it. I'm a hard worker, and I'm extremely driven. I am creative and powerful, and will make my own way in this world.
I love playing with juxtaposition. I like taking ideas that on paper don't really make sense together, but finding that through line. I'm Terrence Bridges, and I am a fashion designer. My collection is hip hop inspired, and so I really took a look at like 80s, like underground hip hop, but also I took a lot of inspiration in an odd way from 18th century neoclassical architecture. That through line of old and new is something I really wanted to play with. One of the great things about Jefferson is that opportunity to collaborate with a textile designer. I'm collaborating with Alexander Winch on a jacquard fabric for a varsity jacket. I think one of my missions in life is to really bring people together and encourage them to express themselves creatively through the work that I do. I really enjoy my collection work and it's very interesting work for me because I think it's challenging. I'm Rishi Chen and I am a fashion designer. My inspiration is from the real person's story. The movie name is The Duchess. My collection is very cool, red, black, and white and a little bit gold and embroidery details. I used some interesting details like smoking fabric that is from an 18th century garment. The most important thing Jefferson told me is independent and do be yourself. I'm going to continue to study fashion design and I'm going to be a stylist. I design with intent, I design with other people in mind, and I design to make a difference. I'm Kira Lee and I'm a fashion designer. My collection is telling my own personal story through comic book imagery. A lot of stories I've faced in life with racial disparities, racism, and various topics, but in a comic book panel spread. My work is very graphic, very gritty. I usually am inspired more sort of like city life. One of the great things about Jefferson is the opportunity to collaborate across disciplines. I'm collaborating with Xander Williams, who is an animation major. And together we're doing three prints for my collection, which will be featured in three jackets my art style combined with his, it works. I feel like right now I'm still figuring out things myself, honestly. Realistically, I would want to probably work for myself. I don't know when that will actually tangibly happen, but I'm going to keep designing with intent. I'm going to keep representing underserved communities. And I'm going to be successful however I decide to define that. I have a very different idea of design and concept and style, and I want the world to know that. It's really bright and colorful, and it's probably not what you're expecting. <laughs> My name is McKenna Henry, and I'm a fashion designer. The It Girl is very carefree. She has a very busy lifestyle. Everyone wants to look at her and to be her, and she's kind of the showstopper where everyone looks when she walks into a room. My collection is kind of a riff of 80s, but a little bit more modernized, very bright. Pink, got some purples in like there, cobalt blue, neon green, and then sequins. A bunch of different color sequins. There's endless possibilities for stuff you could do. You can make anything you want. The possibilities are literally endless. At Jefferson, we redefine what's possible by learning all the rules and techniques so that we can later break them in innovative ways. My name is Amelia McKenzie and I'm a fashion designer. My concept was inspired by contemporary dance. The movement of the dancers themselves, how dancers move together, and what kind of negative space that creates. Capturing movement in real time and finding a way to bring those interesting lines and silhouettes into something that's going to be there all the time. 
My work is somewhere in between avant-garde and ready-to-wear. I like that it is art and to incorporate that into something that's wearable is where things really get innovative and interesting. Design is all about patience. Focusing on those little details, it's kind of like us. We have a little part to play, but a big effect. My name is Emily and I am a fashion designer. My collection is inspired by copper patina. I wanted to do something different, a color story that you don't see every day. Since I am a textile miner, I knew way back when that I wanted to make the fabrics for my collection. So I am doing a placement print and a half drop repeat that I personally created. Jefferson has taught me to be myself. I want to design with a purpose, to problem solve to create anything that helps and will better someone's day. I want to change the world, one design at a time. Designers no longer work in silos. What we do with the textile design students here is so important because it's exactly what's happening in the industry. The way we start our collaborations is our students find each other in an open meeting where they share their work and find another individual whose work resonates with them. Might be about the aesthetics, might be about the process, might be conceptually connected, and that establishes a great, firm, equal partnership from the beginning. When choosing a fashion design partner, I look for complexity in the design. It definitely encourages us to break out of our own specific style and adopt someone else's style as well, just to see how far we can push our boundaries and also create exactly what they need. Give me the hardest fabric and we'll do it. <laughs> Together we're working on a knit inspired by the air. And we decided to design a jacquard fabric. This is gonna be- She's creating a beautiful knit for me that has a pointel structure. We are working to make our own rendition of a Kuji sweater. He is a graduate textile design student. She made me a fabric that mimicked this glitch screen that has- We're making a jacquard fabric together and she made an aerial view of a map. Seeing him on the loom, I'm like, I have no idea what's happening. I'm like, hey, you, as long as you know how to do it, you know, we're, we're doing it. This was my first collaboration with a fashion designer. Every single day when I walked into the studio, I felt like, this is amazing. I can't believe that I'm here. There's this whole entire world, and each time you learn something new, it gets bigger and you see more and the door widens, and it's just amazing. <laughs> With collaborating, you need to be flexible. You need to pivot. Things change. When our students learn that at this point, they're much more capable of doing that in their professional life. One of the special things about Jefferson is how well they prepare you to enter the industry. The idea that you can collaborate with textile students, you can't do that anywhere else. If that's what you want to do, you need to be here. My work it's not just clothes. It's a story behind the clothes. I take a little journey through a futuristic atmosphere. I am Dwayne Smith, and I am a fashion designer. I got inspired by retrofuturistic architecture, industrial design, and interior design. It's a lot of thought. It's a lot of work. The fashion design program at Jefferson is so special because you're amongst so many creative and talented people. I'm working with Christina Dixon. She's making jersey knit and quilts and details. She can see what I want and bring it to life. I want the work to speak for itself, but also I want people to dig a little deeper. I'm not just another young black designer. This is my art, this is my career, this is my destiny, and this is something that I'm gonna keep on working towards until the day I die. Dwayne Smith will be a household name. We all come into crossroads in our life. But it's the way that we overcome these that define us. I'm Tara Tobin. 
and I'm a fashion designer. My collection is inspired by my grandmother's favorite catchphrase from the children's book, The Little Engine That Could. I think I can, I think I can. It's empowering, it's optimistic. It's how I choose to live my life. I love to take vintage designs and make them modern. Mixing different fabrics and prints and using different textures and materials together. One thing I love about Jefferson is that we have the opportunity to work with textile designers. My textile designer is Kelly Szeszewski and together we're designing a jacquard fabric. The world needs to know how much of myself I put into my work. This collection was important to me because my grandmother, even though she's not here, she has been with me my entire life. I'm going to continue to be optimistic, continue to live by the catchphrase that I have lived my entire life. I think I can. My collection is inspired by the Mafia and famous films about mobs and mafia. Martin Scorsese, Quentin Tarantino. I find it interesting that what a character wears in the scene says just as much about them as what they say and do throughout the movie. I'm Haley Nicky, and I'm a fashion designer. I've just always been interested in history. I do like to think of the future in other ways, but design-wise, I'm always kind of looking to the past. I'm working with a textile designer named Manasi Eswarapu. She has her own creative process and it helps me out to keep an open mind about what else can be done. The most important thing Jefferson has taught me is to be more confident in myself and my designs. I think it's always important to look to history, not in just the design field, but in any field. Looking to the past helps me to pave out where I want to end up in the future. Telling the story of my culture is important to me because it shares part of me that is a bit hidden. Culture is your parents and where you come from. It's the beginning of who you are as a person. I am Rowan Osman and I'm a fashion designer. Elhami means my inspiration in Arabic. My collection is about a Nubian village in Egypt where my grandparents grew up. To tell that story, I added a lot of colors, symbols, and geometry from that culture. What I like about Jefferson is that it gives us the opportunity to work with other majors like textile design. The textile designer that I'm working with is Aventica Subramanian. Together we're making a jacquard fabric that corresponds with my concept. I'm going to tell my stories through my design. I want you to see my confidence and my love of culture. It's an important part of who I am as a person, and I want to share that to the world. I love sparkle. How it glistens, how it moves, how it shines on a garment, no matter what way or where you put it. I am Carly Vakos, and I am a fashion designer. It's a bridal collection, and there's also honeymoon looks that go along with the destinations. One thing I love about Jefferson is that we get to work with great textile designers. My textile designer is Emma Gall, and we decided to design a jacquard fabric. Collaboration is important because we do it every day. In our professional careers, we're gonna be working with teams and constantly collaborating with others. I just like designing bridal because it's fun and experimental. You can be as loud and as playful or as flowy or as sculptured as you would like to be. You can include your culture in it or something you love, like glitter is what I love. <laughs> I am going to keep being creative and innovative. My designs are fun and experimental and a chance for me to try something new every single day. I would describe myself as a person who loves to explore new media. 
My designs are very evocative, they're structural. I like to inject a little bit of myself into everything I design. I'm Ether Quebley and I'm a fashion designer. Humankind is basically driving themselves to extinction because of our pollution. My collection is exploring the various forms humans adapt to after being forced to evolve in the future. What does the world look like? What would plants look like? What would human beings themselves look like? Fashion design at Jefferson is so special because you get to explore the industry before going into it. I'm finding new ways to be creative and I feel like that's healing within itself. It's been a process, but it's a process that I've learned to love. I'm an artist and I live to create. How can I push my style further? How can I push making materials further? How can I push sustainability as far as possible? Anything you can imagine, there's always a way to make it real. I am Adriana Santa Ruiz and I'm a fashion designer. My collection is based on the 10 plagues God sent to Egypt. And since it's based on the Egyptian gods and goddesses, I wanted to make it feel like you are a goddess and you're a blessing and you're beautiful and powerful. I'm collaborating with Jefferson's surface imaging department to produce various prints for my collection on different materials and fabrics. Having access to these resources and these opportunities really helps me push myself and doesn't limit me to what is out there already in the market. Jefferson has really given me the opportunity to test myself. I'm going to really push myself. I'm gonna explore what else I can do. I'm gonna explore the world and different markets. I'm gonna be happy. I am happy, but I'm gonna be happier. Fashion is one of those industries that has found itself at the intersection of politics, wellness, and the economy. So that's why you're seeing our students getting more involved in activism. These students cannot just come in and design pretty things anymore. They have to design things with purpose. They have to design things with meaning because to them, it's not just what you see, it's what that garment represents. The aesthetics are always important because really, truly, we need to create things that are desirable, that people want. But there's so much more that goes into that than just something pretty. Sustainability should be important to everyone, especially working in this industry. It's the second biggest industry to be polluting the planet and causing most carbon dioxide emissions. Right now I'm designing a collection for the visually impaired. That's like an underserved community that needs a collection, that needs fashion, that is adaptive to them. My work mainly focuses on African-American culture and fashion. I want to pay more attention to our culture and what it means to be African-American. Representing LGBTQ, non-binary, making sure that those people within those communities are represented through my work. I have stories I want to tell through fashion that are rooted in social justice. It's important to understand what you're wearing and where it came from and how much effort it took to make that. I came from a refugee family and I am very proud of the things that I have accomplished. My voice matters because you don't get to see people like me in the fashion industry telling their stories with passion. Fashion is important because it is a trillion dollar industry that affects our planet and our future on an immense scale. The people of my generation need to move into the industry and change how things are done. This group of students actually will do something monumental and change the script for the economy of fashion. We're not going to take these problems anymore. We're actually going to solve them. I've heard you talk about it. Talking's nice, but let's go do something about it. These are our future leaders. And so when you're taking the time to design that garment with politics, wellness, sustainability in mind, it can go further and it can reach more people. Fashion saves lives, and these students are our fashion activists.
As an African-American artist, a lot of what you do is inherently political. Having that ownership of my work and my culture automatically puts it in that category. The world needs to know my name, what I've created, what I've done, what I am doing for my community. I'm Noni Johnson, and I'm a fashion designer. My collection is about cowboys, the original cowboys, the vaqueros. A lot of them are African-American and Mexican indigenous people. It's really important to look at the history, but I think it's also important to look at your culture today and see how you can kind of combine the two. One thing that's great about Jefferson is we get to work with textile designers. I'm working with Sierra Colloran. In the industry, you are working on a team, and so you learn how you work with other people, how to get things done, how to problem solve. Just being able to see my creations come to life, that was something that I've never really done before. And so doing it now is just kind of like, wow, like I didn't even notice my own talents, you know? I'm going to be free. <laughs> I am going to be able to do anything and everything that I want to do. I'm going to change the way people look at sustainability. Sustainability can be fun. It can be an adventure. It's art. It's the future. It's what we need to do. I'm Maisie Ingalls, and I'm a fashion designer. The name of my collection is about the end of the world and using what you have. I was watching James Bond films, and I was like, wow, these title sequences are awesome. The movement, the colors, the use of silhouettes, and then totally making it something it's not is just so fun to me. The fashion design program at Jefferson is special because the professors really care about you and your work. Like, I didn't realize I had the ability to make anything I wanted, but I can. I actually want to go into costume design and do that sustainably. We can do something different. We can change the direction of the industry and create a more sustainable future. I love being able to create a piece to make someone feel beautiful and using a concept, it creates a story. My name is Ariana Duke and I'm a fashion designer. The most important thing that Jefferson has taught me is creating the concept. I started with researching the dark feminine, that power of seduction and creative energy. I'm kind of a perfectionist. <laughs> I do a lot of detail-oriented designs, creating a lot of movement, and I really like challenging myself. I want women to feel confident and embrace who they are. When I first started at Jefferson, I was actually a science major and I switched into fashion design. Having a science background, I'm definitely more interested in the sustainability and really keeping the environment clean. I am Erin Fagan and I'm a fashion designer. My collection is inspired by the goddess Eru. She's the goddess of Ireland and she represents the land itself. It's menswear, so I'm using a lot of men's suiting materials, but using it in a more modern way. It's not just suits and blazers and dress pants. The great opportunity that we have here at Jefferson is to work and collaborate with a textile major. I'm collaborating with Emily Radomsky, and together we're working on a knit, which I'm using in a pair of shorts. I'm using my scraps as a surface design on the sweater to mimic a cable knit. There's really so much more to sustainability and so much that you can think about in creative ways, whether it's zero waste or trying to just think about the end use of the garment. It matters to me because I care about the environment and I care about the world. So much of what we're inspired by comes from historical garments. I just feel like the future is the past. I'm Lila Duffy and I'm a fashion designer. 
My collection is inspired by 19th and 20th century athletic wear. Prep with a little bit of edge, I just take those elements and really tear it apart and make it more of a streetwear aesthetic. Being able to follow a prompt is something that Jefferson is really good about teaching us. Okay, this is the boundaries that you have to work with. How can you be an artist inside that space? Our generation, we see what's wrong out there, but if I do this one small thing where I am being sustainable, where I am creating inclusive designs, well, I'm just one small piece of the puzzle, but I do need to take a turn and be like, okay, let's put the lens on other people. Who else needs to be seen in the fashion world? This is just one part of who I am. I have so many more ideas that I want to create, so many more things I'm going to design. There's more to see. I redefine possible by going bold, trying to put a little bit of my personality into every collection that I do. My name is Erica Aiken, and I'm a fashion designer. My collection is focused on the story of Medusa, who has become sort of an icon in the Me Too movement. I've had experiences with sexual assault, as have many women that I know, and I wanted this collection to be a very powerful message. It doesn't matter how you dress, and you can reclaim your power because you never lost it. The most important thing at Jefferson that I've learned is that fashion design doesn't necessarily mean sewing. It's a whole creative process, and there are so many things within that process that you can do as a job. I want you to feel inspired. I want you to feel a little bit brighter, and I want you to see my journey as a designer from start to finish. Fashion is kind of like our second skin, right? Whatever you're wearing, you're preparing yourself for the climate you're about to enter. So if we can think about the weather when we put on our clothes, why can't we think about the environment when we make the clothes? My name is Sam Lee, and I'm a fashion designer. My collection takes inspiration from mountaineering and military clothing. It basically tells a story of the connection between human and environment. That's something that I think about daily when I'm designing. What am I leaving behind when I leave this earth? The ability to be able to think freely at Jefferson kind of pushes me to think of new ideas and kind of think outside of the box. Fashion is always evolving. Everything we do is an experiment. So every day we're redefining what's possible. Vintage clothes definitely are huge for me. I especially love homemade clothing and how they did finishes back then and how it's lasted so long I find really fascinating. My name is Katarina DiPolito and I'm a fashion designer. I love old manufacturing and old production. I really believe in quality pieces that go a long way, stuff that'll last through the test of time. My main inspiration was female fly fishers from the 1950s the hyper-feminine, but like doing this like super male adjacent thing. Time put into a garment can really make such a difference. You can tell when something really has a meaningful and thoughtful concept and background, and execution is everything. Even if you have really great ideas behind it, if the execution's poor, it's not gonna show. Jefferson taught me resilience, so just perseverance, keeping with something, and then seeing the positive outcome once you do stick with it. The industry was always known for, you let the one main designer shine. It's not like that anymore. It's all about collaboration. It's about how can we come together to make this idea even better. These students take great inspiration from each other. When you find other voices that resonate with yours, harmonize with yours, you're more comfortable. You're more able to actually voice what you believe in. Communication, flexibility, learning to work with others, all of those are lifelong skills. Helping them develop as people who can work well with others, that's really a critical part of what we do. 
it's never really a competition. We want each other to be living our dreams in the future as fashion designers. So when you're here, it feels like it's a safe space to design, to learn new things, to try new things, to experiment. I love all of these designers because they each have such beautiful visions in their work. Like when I look at Sam Stern, I love that he really understands a story behind what he's doing. I love Anna Scheller's work, her ability to think so far outside the box. I like Katerina like DiPolito's work because her aesthetic is very organic. She'd get inspired Aaron by Aaron Fagan inspires me because the knits and prints that she Emily works. Fitzgerald's work always is constructed so beautifully. I'm constantly inspired by Lauren Schuler. She is one of the hardest working people that I Sam know. Sam Lee really thinks about Lena the Lena Blumberg. McKenna Henry. Haley Nikki. Terrence Bridges. Kira Lee thinks about sustainability. My fellow students are what make the program at Jefferson so special. The designers here are just another level of creative. I learn from them every day. We have a community of scholars. We have people that are not just learning, but they're actually adding to what we define as design, what we define as forward-looking, what we define as sustainable. It's part of what we do, it's in the DNA of the place. It goes back right to its founding. That's the most wonderful part of Jefferson. They want to see each other win. They want to push each other. And it all goes back to collaboration because if I can make my peer better, that's gonna push me to be even better. My inspiration started with 2001 A Space Odyssey, the room where it's a bunch of old Victorian furniture, but then the floor is all lit up and it's mixing futurism with something old. I guess it just speaks to something in my soul. <laughs> my name is Anna Scheller and I'm a fashion designer. My collection was inspired by the Victorian era and mixing old and new and menswear and women's wear. I think that the students make the fashion program at Jefferson special. I'm working with Emily Radomski and she's a textile designer. She's creating a beautiful knit for me that almost looks like lace. I felt in my bones for so many years in my life that this is the path that I'm meant to go down and now it's finally happening. I'm daring to ask why? Why be a designer? Why pay attention to fashion? And my answer for that is in my work. I'm Samuel Stern and I'm a fashion designer. My goal is for the pieces to be both art and to be wearable. Questioning what even is display, what even is wearable, and how can that be reinterpreted. A great part about our program here at Jefferson is the opportunity to work with a textile designer. I'm working with Michael Moore. This collaboration propels my collection to a new area because it's really one of one. You're never gonna see this textile until it's on my garment. Fashion can change the world. It can change the way we think about ourselves. It can change the way other people think about us and think about their own lives. It can open people up to new ideas and help them reinterpret their own ideologies in their own dressing. Kids have so much freedom in their style. At a certain point, you lose that and you start caring what other people think. The world would be a lot more exciting if we all dressed how kids do, not care about what anyone else has to say. I'm Miranda Lukinitz and I'm a fashion designer. My collection really dives into this juxtaposition between the past and the present and youth and maturity. The fashion design program at Jefferson is special because they really teach you how to channel your creativity in a way that you'll have a successful career. In order to design successfully, you need to design empathetically and be able to really connect with your customer in that way. The parents or grandparents, whoever's buying these clothes, they're gonna be attracted to the nostalgia of it, whereas the kid's gonna feel like, almost like they're wearing like a costume where they're playing dress up in their parents' closet. 
I've changed so much as a designer over the last four years. I'm just excited to see where it does take me, wherever that may be. I describe my work as elements of nostalgia, very romantic and feminine, and it's usually always historically or art inspired. I'm Gabrielle Ramos and I'm a fashion designer. My collection focuses on the Italian Renaissance, the story behind it or the colors and the textures in it. I've always had a love for fine art, so I picked something that I love so much and then put it with fashion that I love so much. The people make the Jefferson Fashion Design Program really special. I was really blessed to have such good professors. And then on the other hand, I have all of my peers and my friends. They're able to inspire me and I hope I inspire them too. I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of the work I've done. And I'm proud to see how far I've come and to see my collection grow. I grew up going to a lot of Broadway shows, so it's something that I really love. Just watching a story live and being in a room full of people who love storytelling. I'm Lena Blumberg, and I'm a fashion designer. My collection is inspired by fairy tales and the whimsical world and characters in them. It's also about embracing your inner child and getting to dress up and feel like a kid again. One great thing about Jefferson is that we have the opportunity to collaborate with a textile designer, so I'm collaborating with Ashley Clark. I like collaborating with people and really getting to prepare to work with textile designers before we graduate and actually work in the industry. One of my big dreams is to do costume design for a Broadway show. I think everyone has a story. Every piece of fashion has a story to it and I really want to be part of that storytelling. I'm going to create a space for the freaks, geeks, for the people who get stared at for being themselves. I'm Stefani Saldana and I'm a fashion designer. Muerto en el sueño translates to death in a dream. I created a whole story. There's multiple characters. Each of my looks represent those characters. My work tends to be very disruptive and playful, and I want to make sure that it's very explorative. Fashion design at Jefferson is strong because of its students. I have been heavily inspired by my fellow classmates. They each have such beautiful visions in their work. There is no competition. We're all really here just for each other. I love my class, honestly. I'm someone who really admires diversity and exploration of self, and I want to involve community in everything that I do. I'm going to be the person that my younger self always wanted to be. I'm going to be authentically myself. Unexpected. I want my work to be unexpected. Fashion needs people like me to bring in the new thing, the new idea. I'm the one. My name is Austin DeGabriel and I'm a fashion designer. Coming from a refugee family, I always had this fear of being in a war or losing family. You cannot touch fear. But to me, it's almost tangible. My collection is telling the story. I am on the battleground facing my fear, doing the right things, doing the things that I'm passionate about. The Jefferson Fashion Design Program is very, very special. My voice matters. I believe in what I'm doing, and I believe in inspiring other people. I put all the love into my work. It's part of me. Everything seems impossible until it's done. I can always make the impossible possible.
work to be really meaningful, and I wanted it to touch people. This drive comes from my parents. I've watched them work hard my whole life, and I'm just following in their footsteps. I really want to thank my family. They're my number one cheerleaders when it comes to my work, and I'm very lucky to have them in my life. I want to tell my family that I love them and to thank them for shaping me into who I am today. I wouldn't be the designer today without the people around me. Familia, lo amo. Gracias por el apoyo. To my family, I told you I could do it. Oh man, love y'all. Shout out to my grandma who gives me clothing all the time to make stuff. My family is really, they've done so much for me. The only thing I can say is thank you and I'll pay you back someday. <laughs> I'm pretty proud of myself from when I started freshman year to now. And I'm really proud of all the work I've accomplished and hope to keep doing this work and open a few more doors after this. What is next? That's the question. That is the question. That's hard because I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. <laughs> but I'm going to really push myself. There's so many new technologies coming out, thinking of dressing and design on like a much broader spectrum and keeping those new materials and technologies in mind and seeing where you personally can take them. There's a area where business and creative can really strive and I'd love to like be a part of that. I'm going to use the clothes I designed to tell the stories that I want I to I want to do a lot of more designing digitally because of our world shifting that I'm way. I'm going to continue to study fashion design. I'm going to push the boundaries of the trend cycle. I'm going to continue to question everything. I'm going to be a bridal designer. I actually want to go into costume design. I'm going to change people's minds about how they think about menswear and sustainability. I'm going to transform people's ideas of what children's wear is. I am going to empower women. I want to inspire the next generation of black designers. I'm going to make the world brighter. I'm going to make the fashion industry brighter. I am going to be the best version of myself as a fashion designer. I started interning with a stylist in New York and I've been able to work on an editorial for Essence magazine. I'm working on a dress for the Grammys right now. Tomorrow actually I have an interview kind of thing going on. <laughs> I actually accepted a design position for Kohl's and I will be designing for the Lauren Conrad brand. Jefferson has really allowed me to find who I am as a designer, to allow me to explore different departments, different categories to really find what I love to do and what I love to design. I'm surprising myself with what I can do. Each semester I've spent here, I've been able to realize that I already have it inside of me. Like I can do it, I just have to do it. I'm just really proud of these students. They are the ones that really went through it with this pandemic. Their skill level, their ability to turn ideas into actual designs and products, it's as if they just said, you know what, it happened. I'm still going to move on with my life. I'm still going to create. I'm still going to be the designer that I was born to be. What I'm hoping for the students is kind of simple. I just want them to be happy and to be successful no matter what they're doing. Remember that you are brave and to stay brave. You know, find that inner source of energy and, and give it a, a good push out into the world. Be open. Communicate, be prepared for change, because things are going to change. I hope they find their place of joy, whatever that looks like, whether that's designing for an international brand or working on an entrepreneurial venture. I hope they all find the thing that really brings them joy. This is just the beginning. This is their beginning. This is a moment for them to take everything that they've learned at Jefferson and fly. When you're leading with yourself, with your inner core self, you'll never go wrong. So this is their beginning. Fly high. <laughs>